Hello, I'm Marcus Boston. Quick video today, and we're going to stay on this trial theme. I just shot a video in which I was talking about how a jury know what law to use when they're trying to decide a case. And so today's video, this next video, I want to talk about will there be surprise witnesses in your trial? Now, I know if you've watched TV, especially some of the older shows like your Matlocks and your Perry Masons and some of the other courtroom dramas there's there's you can you can always see in some seasons of these these dramas or, or, or whatever we're going to call them you can always see that you will have a, a situation in which there will be a witness that will just come out of nowhere in the trial and and, and everybody will look around and they'll be like oh my goodness where was this witness oh the smoking gun witness nobody on the other side they didn't see this witness coming this was just something just completely new and the question is how often is, does that happen in jury trials and the short answer is that in general no there's not going to be that smoking gun witness that you see on TV and the reason being is because there's actually there's there's a method to this process and because of things like discovery in most cases your attorneys or the attorneys on both sides they're going to know who the witnesses are going to be in the cases. They're going to know what the issues are or the issues that are presented. And they're going to know what the witnesses through discovery and, and depositions, they'll have a good idea as to what a witness is more than likely going to testify to at trial regarding a specific line of questioning. So that what you see on TV where the witness is just coming through the door at the last minute, no one saw this coming. In general, no, that is not going to happen in your trial. In addition to that, here in Maryland, because I'm basing this off of Maryland law and how we do things in Maryland, in addition to that, you're going to have to turn over your witness list before trial. And so for these birth trauma cases, because in this context of birth trauma, in a lot of instances, we are going to already know because you have to have medical experts. And these medical experts have to give opinions as to standard of care and causation. In some cases, they will have been in written reports. So you'll have a really good idea as to what these witnesses are going to say. All right. So the purpose of this video today is just to give you, again, more insight into this process, specifically from the birth trauma standpoint. But some of this information is general in nature. and It will hold true in other types of trials, too. All right. So that's going to be it for today's quick educational video. Again, I'm Marcus Boston, and I'm one of the childbirth injury and medical malpractice attorneys practicing law here in the state of Maryland at Boston Law Group, LLC. And we will see you next time. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day.